I'm Nika Hillary, and this is A Taste of Haiti. Today I'll be making chic dye anso stuffed plantain cups using smoked herring to stuff the plantain cups. It's basically Haiti in one bite. Plantains is a popular side dish in Haiti, of course. It's, you know, the french fries of the Caribbean. It's just like the perfect appetizer. I am of Haitian descent. My parents were born in Haiti, but I was actually born in Boston. I grew up in a Haitian household though, so as my dad always says, we're 500% Haitian. Haitian cuisine is Creole cuisine, so you have African influence, French influence, Spanish influence, also Arab influence. So the food has a personality of its own. The first ingredient of this dish is smoked herring. Oh, that's what I love about smoked herring. The aroma is so strong. It is a salt preserved smoked herring. To desalt it, you can put it in a bowl of cold water same day for about 10 minutes and then go ahead and boil it for an additional 10 to 15 minutes. At this point, the smoked herring has become a lot softer in texture, and there are these uh, little bones um, that are on the surface of the herring. As I shred it and the bones start sticking out, I'm just gonna take them out with my hand. It's gonna look like I'm putting a lot of oil, because I am, <laughs> but smoked herring does need a lot of oil. It really does pull like the fat from this fish. I can probably name a few dishes that don't have bell peppers, garlic, scotch bonnet in it. That's really the foundation of a lot of our dishes. You do pull out a lot of the sweet notes that scotch bonnet does have, um, but it's just that perfect amount of heat. Scotch bonnet is kind of one of the highlights of this appetizer. Spicy smoked herring, I mean, it really doesn't get better than that. This makes me just think of my mom being home. My dad would have compa playing in the background, and my mom in the kitchen getting a huge meal for us ready. <sighs> I miss that. <laughs> I miss that so much. If you ever ask anyone, what do you think Haitian food is made up of? We tend to be represented by Jamaican cuisine. And Jamaica is our sister island, so we do have a lot of similar dishes, you know, a lot of starches, stewed meats. But I do think that the flavor palette is a little bit different. And because we have ipis, our green seasoning base, garlic, herbs, spices, etc., that are blended in a little bit of vinegar and lime juice and oil, that's kind of like the base of a lot of our dishes, so that is what gives us the personality of Haitian cuisine. Even the colors just remind me of Haiti. Our taxis in Haiti are called Tap Tap. The colors of the bell peppers always bring me back to a Tap Tap. It's the first thing you see when you get off of a plane. The Tap Tap is the inspiration behind the design that I also have for my food truck. The moment you walk in, you can see this beautiful, bright, colorful truck with Haitian artistry. Oh my god. Can you guys smell that? <laughs> Do I have to share? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is taking the clove and actually puncturing the pepper. The reason anyone does this, you do not want to bite into a clove. It is so important for our food though because it just really elevates any dish. But Let's get into these plantain cups. Here's some tips for when shopping for plantains. It comes down to what dish you wanna make. When they're green, they're extremely savory. They're uh, a bit bland, or you can go with the yellow plantain, um, which is completely sweet. It caramelized, it tastes like it has a little brown sugar on it. Something that's like a happy medium, which is my favorite, um, I would go for a greenish yellow plantain, which will give you a good balance between sweet and savory that you're looking for. Start off by uh, cutting the ends and then scoring the plantain. So I'm gonna just take my nail and kind of take it apart. For the plantain cups, I'm gonna cut this into four chunks. Bonan peze, which means pressed plantains, they are twice fried. This is a way to just get it a little crispy but also tender in the center. We kind of had an open door policy, so we always had people over our house. We host Thanksgiving, we host Christmas, we do a lot of parties, and my father was in like a political group, so like him and his 10 friends would get together. We weren't as into politics as he was, but we were into what my mom was making. 
We just were excited that his friends were coming over because then we know we get those treats. They look beautiful. They're that nice golden color and it's a little bit crispy already. And that's, that's, the, that's really what you're looking for. With my handy dandy presser, <laughs> we're gonna put the plantain here and we're gonna smash it as flat as possible so it can be a good mold for a bowl. My mom has a press, but honestly, my mom just uses a plate, as anybody can do. Now we're gonna go ahead and mold them into little bowls. This can get tricky too, getting used to it. Sometimes the plantain will break up a little bit, but what's nice about it is that it's starchy and soft enough to like kind of remold it with your hand if you need to. What I love about this is that it makes eating an appetizer so easy. I think a lot of people don't know that Haiti is the first free black republic in the Western Hemisphere. We were the first to abolish slavery. I don't think we get enough credit for that. It demonstrates and kind of gives you insight of where our resilience comes from. And I really think that comes from, you know, winning a revolution. <laughs> so we also helped our sister islands and surrounding islands to abolish slavery as well. And we were 65 years ahead of America. My dad is a prideful, prideful Haitian man. <laughs> um, he taught us at a very young age who we are and what we stand for. And you know, don't let anybody tear you down or tell you that your culture is not beautiful. What we're looking for is very golden color and also crispy on the outside and a little bit softer of a crisp in the inside. That's like your perfect plantain. That's that golden brown we're looking for. You see those crispy edges? That's gonna be the best part. Especially when they're salted and you have crispy edges. Listen. All right, it's time to plate these up. Can you guys smell that? <laughs> okay. There are a number of ways you can go ahead and garnish this. The way I like to garnish this is with some tomato, a dollop of sour cream, and avocado. Of course, food presentation lures you into wanting to try something. Haitian cuisine really does a good job, not just the aromas, but also the presentation for creating a tower of different flavors. Oh, I'm excited about these. These are gorgeous. Mm, this looks amazing. When I smell chic dai, I know there's a party around. I'm like, where's the Haitian rum? I'm excited to like mingle with friends and family and eat this good appetizer. Man, this is so good. Wow. Oh, just one bite, let me stop. I absolutely love this dish and I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. This is literally Haiti in one bite.